Good evening, my name is Nathan Miller. Um, I'm here to talk about a truck replacement, which is what I did my yardstick report on for meeting COM 320. The problem that I found um, is that we have a old truck and we're, I was look, told to look into um, finding out how much the replacement would cost. Uh, the truck right now is a liability. Um, it's a liability because our guys could be stuck on the side of the road and they could get robbed, they could um, get injured, they could get hit by another car. Obviously it's a liability for the company um, so that we wouldn't want to put our people in that type of situation. Uh, the repair costs are getting kind of large on our truck. The value of the truck to how much we we're spending to keep it on the road is starting to become in question. Um, last month, I think we spent $3,000 uh, on uh, keeping the truck on the road. So our third reason is customer reliability. Uh, we obviously want to be reliable to the customer. So if we're always having call them and say, oh, our truck broke down, it'll be there in a little bit, um, it doesn't look good on our end. So we want to be able to tell our customer, our truck is going to be here now, and um, it'll be there. So Moving on to the solutions, uh, we obvious solution is to buy a new truck. Our requirements for the truck are that it'll be safe, that It'll have enough power to pull our trailer and that it'll cost the right amount that we'll be able to afford it. Our manufacturers that we're considering are Ford and Dodge. Uh, they both sell fairly identical pickup trucks. Uh, they're a 3500 model with a diesel engine and a crew cab so four people can fit in it. This is our criteria. Um, to compare the two, we chose between these five criteria. Uh, the first is obviously price. We want to make sure that we're getting the most for our money and not spending too much. Our high end, we were thinking around $50,000 for our price. Our second is power. We definitely need more power than what our current truck has. Our drivers tell us that it doesn't have enough power to get up hills and stuff like that sometimes. Um, third is towing capacity. We want to make sure that the new truck that we buy will have enough capacity to tow our trailer. Um, and we're thinking around 13,000 pounds is what we'll need. So anything above that would be excellent. Our payload, um, sometimes the truck has been used to haul stuff in the bed of the truck, which is what the payload is. And so we want to check that out and make sure that we don't overload it. And fifth, finally, is the warranty, which I was told currently that we are considering just uh, depreciating the truck and getting rid of the truck when it hits or whenever the warranty expires, we would uh, replace the truck. So that's the criteria. When I evaluated the criteria, I got a price for Dodge of $44,075. For Ford, I got a price of $44,065. So relatively close. Uh, power was the same for both at 350 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, horsepower is what keeps the uh, truck moving once it's going. Um, torque is what helps it accelerate off the line. Towing capacity for the Dodge was significantly higher than the Ford. Uh, the Dodge was 16,900 pounds, where the Ford was only 15,000 pounds, which both of them meets our requirements, but obviously uh, more is always better. Our payload capacity was 4,680 pounds for the Dodge, 9,010 pounds for the Ford, so the Ford has more payload capacity. Uh, this is not 
is big of an issue for our company because we don't tend to use the truck um, for its payload ability, but uh, the numbers are relatively close. So uh, we evaluated the warranty on both trucks because that's the deciding factor for how long we're going to keep the vehicle. Uh, the bumper to bumper warranty for the Dodge was three years or 36,000 miles. The Ford was three years or 36,000 miles as well. The powertrain warranty, which is the uh, transmission and drive shaft and rear end and all that, was five years or 100,000 miles for the Dodge, five years, 60,000 miles for the Ford. So the Dodge allows you to get more life out of the vehicle under warranty. Um, the corrosion warranty is what warranties the truck against any soft damage, rust, pitting, holes. Uh, and that was five years or 100,000 miles for the Dodge, five years unlimited miles for the Ford. Although we are still considering getting rid of the truck once the warranty for the powertrain has expired. So we would be getting rid of the Ford at 60,000, Dodge at 100,000. The engine warranty is the same on both. Uh, which is five years, 100,000 miles. So those are the evaluation of the warranty. These are my conclusions and recommendations. Uh, my recommendation is to purchase the Dodge pickup. Uh, I believe that the reasons for that are the warranty is much better, the payload capacity is much higher, and I believe we'll get more life and use out of the truck. Also, the truck is, um, was what our drivers requested that we look into. So I believe that that is the best fit. And um, if you have any questions, you may ask them now. Seeing none, I thank you for your time. And I hope this was informative.